What's going on, man? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your big bro, Trend, man. You tuned in to the right video at the right time. If you're watching this video right now, you're watching it for a reason. Because I ain't gonna do nothing but tell you something that you was already thinking, okay? I'm just gonna confirm it to you that what you're thinking is right. You're not crazy. Do me a favor, man. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you heard about Cat Williams recently and what happened with Cat Williams and stuff. Uh, I'm about to shed some light on that situation. Also, Comment below, man, if you've been rocking with me. All right. Comment below if you're having a good New Year so far. Just say, man, my New Year's has been good. Or just comment below and let me know what have you been doing um, up until the, today? Has it been going good for you? Are you still in a tough spot? Comment that below if you're still struggling or something right now, because there might be somebody else in the comment section that can give you some inspiration and some light. All right. Anyway, so. I know you heard about the Cat Williams situation. Um, I'm not a real big Cat Williams fan, but I do watch his, his stand-up comedy every blue moon. You know, um, I'm, I'm more like a Mike Epps dude. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know Mike Epps, but I'm a, I'm a Mike Epps dude, man. And I'm a uh, Jamie Foxx dude. You know, I like Jamie uh, when it comes to stand-up comedy. But anyway... I, I seen the whole situation a few days ago about Cat Williams. He just and I'ma just tell you straight up, I agree with Cat Williams hundred percent what he's saying. And I personally don't take anything that he's saying personally. And I think that's what a lot of people are doing, especially in the entertainment industry. A lot of people's feelings are hurt for, by what Cat Williams is saying. You know, I seen all these people that made video, uh, videos in response to Cat Williams um outburst or whatever. Ludacris made a video, Ice Cube made a video, <laughs> Mike Epps made a video, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like everybody's, everybody was a little tender because Cat Williams is, is speaking his truth. Now, this is why Cat Williams is speaking his truth. Matter of fact, Cat Williams, he always been a controversial stand-up comedian. I mean, I know that much even though I don't watch him a lot, but I, I'm not dumb. He's a controversial stand-up comic so basically what he does is he he brings up real life truths real life things that's going on in the government and stuff like that and in our society and he talks about it he actually gives inspiration and he gives good advice along with making fun out of it at the same time that's what cat williams does that's why he's so powerful because he's smart okay don't let the old pimp tr trick you he's smart cat williams is very intelligent but I think that he's misunderstood and I think that's why he had to turn his uh, his awareness into comedy because folks we live in a world nowadays where people are so soft and they get offended so easily that if you deliver them some information they won't digest the information because you didn't say it in the right tone <laughs> you know what I'm saying like <laughs> people are like bots bro it's like, oh, he didn't he didn't say it quiet enough. Like he wasn't quiet enough. He was a little bit too aggressive. And I don't like that. But you didn't listen to the message though. And so a lot of um entertainers are offended by what Kelt Williams said. I don't find anything he say offensive. I find it to be the truth. If I was a comedian and he talked a little bit about me, I wouldn't take it personally. I'd just be like, well, that's his opinion. I don't care what he thinks. <laughs> I'm gonna do me regardless. But unfortunately, that's not, not how everybody thinks. He hit a lot of he hit a lot of people's soft spots. Um, and the reason why, folks, okay, the reason why he hurt a lot of people is because see, one thing you gotta understand about this entertainment stuff in Hollywood, y'all. Most of these people in Hollywood, man. They got it made, man. Most of them got it made drinking lemonade in the shade. And, you know, they live this famous lifestyle. They're super mega rich. You know, the credit is at 1000 You know, they can go buy an island or, you know, they can um, go do shopping sprees. And, you know, they can take care of their families and all that, man. They live in the life. And see, and one thing, one thing as a celebrity that you can do is get lost in the sauce. And so most of these celebrities, I think, have become so engulfed and wrapped up into the lifestyle of Hollywood and, and their own fame and 
and stuff like that that a lot of them have forgotten like where they came from you know what i'm saying so basically a lot of them aren't humble no more so that's why i feel like a lot of them are offended because a, a lot of these entertainers and celebrities man they they put on the front man they try to act like they for the people and stuff they try to act like they still down to earth but really man they they really wrapped up they really wrapped up into their own idolship if that's a word they wrapped up in their own in their own image you know what i'm saying and the only way you would be offended by if Kent Williams said something, if you were that person who I'm talking about, you wrapped up so much in Hollywood that when somebody like Kent says something that don't please your ego, you get offended by it. See, folks, one thing you got to understand is if you speak in your truth, right, and your truth might not be intended to hurt nobody, but you just feel like this is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to say. It's just like me, for instance. It's like my job. I get up here. I'm a life coach, a motivational inspiration to speak on YouTube, right? I'm speaking my truth. I don't care what nobody think about me, right? But if I have people and I see people who are offended by what I say, that's not my problem. But you will have people that will say it is your problem because I am offended by your truth. This is how people that are they delusional. This is how they think. And so I would think that some of these Hollywood entertainers, they have become delusional. They forgot who they really are because they have had so many people praise them and worship them and, and put them on the pedestal that they really think that they God or something. You know what I'm saying? And God already said in the word, don't put no other gods before me. That means idol worshiping. So Cat Williams, man, he said it's truth. And I don't blame him. He said it like it is. He telling up. And a lot of these entertainers been coming out lately about Hollywood and stuff like that. They, you know why, bro? You know why all this stuff happening, y'all? Because I'm telling you, bro. Guy is drawing the sand in the line between his people and the people that's not of him. That's what is happening. Everything is being exposed. Everything that's in the dark is coming to light. That's why you have, that's why you've been having actresses like taraji p henson crying and stuff because some of them are getting tired of being used by hollywood i'm telling y'all bro this fame fame and stuff and stuff like that in hollywood i knew i figured it out a long time ago it ain't what you think it is it's really dark it's really sinister man them people that's up top of the hollywood in the upper echelons bro don't get it twisted they ain't all that like that happy like they portray to be I'm telling you most of these people are, they stuck in that lifestyle. They can't get out, bro. And if it's like being trapped inside of a room and you can't unlock the door to get out. You can't get out of it, bro. Because most of them have probably sold their soul to get to where they at. And they didn't know that they did that until they got to where they at. And then by the time you get to where you at in that position, it's too late. You already been bamboozled. So, like I say, you got people, not to say it like Taraji, but like, you got people like her crying now because they realize they're being used by the industry and she haven't been getting paid what she deserves to get paid. Now, mind you, she don't, Taraji done had so many movies that she done been in, y'all. Now, you would think that she probably have $300 million in her bank account or something. But did that number sound like it was a big number? Do you think she had that much money in her bank account? Comment below. I don't think so. Because Hollywood is 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 Hollywood is an illusion, y'all. You got even though somebody's on the big screen or even though somebody's on the TV, don't mean they make a lot of money. Just like an extra, like an extras in the background of uh, extras in the background of movies and stuff like that. You might somebody be like, somebody might come up to you and be like, yeah, I was in that video, I was in that movie, but they didn't make no money though. They probably got like fifteen dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like. The extras probably got like a hundred dollars just to walk past the guy that was really doing the acting. You know what I'm saying? Or the video model that was in the famous Chris Brown video. She probably didn't get paid nothing at all, period. Folks, these people don't get paid nothing. They just get used. You got to be a main actor. Even like I said, you got to be a main actor to really see your money. You got to be the main character of the, of the whole show. And Taraji is the main character of most of her movies. But it, it, she just go, it just goes to show you 
when you go to different levels, you got new devils, man. You got bigger bills to pay. If you go buy a whole mil mega million dollar mansion, the money, your, your rent ain't going to be $1,000. That $2,000 what you thought was expensive for your apartment right now, bro, that turns into $15,000 a month when you got a mansion. See, you get bigger problems when you're on a bigger level. And, um, you know, the same thing happened with Monique. Monique was breaking down in front of Steve Harvey. He, she was breaking down in front of Steve Harvey to explaining to him, like, bro, this ain't right. That's basically what she was saying. Like, this ain't right, man. So, Steve Harvey was like, no, no, this a money game. It's a, it's, I don't like him no more either. Because he, he, he started, I'm starting to see his true colors too. Not that it matters to me, but I, I ain't with Steve no more, bro. For him to say, it's a money game, it's a money First of all, me personally, I hate people who think about money all the time. I hate them because the, because you don't money is not the root of all evil, but money don't run your money should not run your decision making perception. And you got people out here that think money, money. I sick and tired of people charging me. Me personally, I'm sick and tired of people charging me for everything I do, bro. You can't watch football on TV without paying forty nine ninety nine a month. Yeah, you got to get this season ticket. You got to pay this. You got to you got to pay to go outside if you want to breathe. <laughs> Ten cent. I'm so tired of this capitalistic society that's always revolved around money. It's making me sick. It's so money driven. It is. I'm tired of it, bro. Comment below if you're tired of this capitalistic society. I'm tired of this money shit. Can't, it's like nobody likes you, not unless you got money. Like, these people are brainwashed, bro. Anyway, back to the point. I'm about to run off on a tangent. Cat Williams is exposing these, this stuff, y'all. See, God sends certain people to expose certain things, man. Like I said, we living in a time right now where everything being every everything in the dark is coming to light. You can't get away with nothing no more nowadays like you used to because we living in a different time now where, like I said, I feel like the most high is exposing the real from the fake. That's why you don't that's why you see so many people right now, bro. They are antisocial. So many people are just with their headphones in at the gym and they don't talk to nobody. This dude came up to me in the grocery store. This black dude came up to me in the grocery store to, uh, yesterday. This black dude. And um, I ain't never, now mind you, I go to the grocery store almost every day because I just like walking through there. I like food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though I don't got nobody to cook it for me. I cook it myself. But I, this guy came up to me. He was like, Yo, man, what's up? I was like, I thought it was a fan at first. He was like, what's up, man? I was like, what's up, bro? He was kind of tall. I was like, he was like, um, hey, man, you from California? I was like, nah, why you say that? He was like, you got a California swag. I was like, oh. I said, where you from? He was like, man, I'm from Louisiana. I was like, oh, you from N.O.? You from you from New Orleans? Louis? He was like, nah, but I'm from down there, though. You know what I'm saying? I was like, word, that's what's up. And he was like, man. Why is people around here all quiet and so to themselves like that? I was like, man, because I don't know. I was like, I, I guess that's, don't nobody want to be bothered, bro. You know, I was like, it ain't like where we from on the East Coast. You know, I'm from North Carolina. I was like, it ain't like where we from in the East Coast, you know, or down South where it's like a lot of hospitality. You know, everybody just kind of talking. <laughs> everybody, even though everybody in the South is nosy as hell, but it's still kind of like homey. It's a homey vibe to the South and the East Coast versus the West Coast. It's the West Coast out here. It's more like everybody just minding their damn business. You know what I'm saying? But I told him, I was like, bro, that's a that's actually a good thing too at the same time because you ain't got to worry about nobody all in your business like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, he was like, cool, cool, cool. He was like, so you like it out here? I was like, yeah, bro, you're going to like it. But the West Coast, you got to transcend it because out here is totally different from like the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? You got to transcend it. He was like, what that mean? I was like, you got to get used to it. You got to adapt. And she's like, all right, man. I'll talk to you later. I was like, all right, peace, bro. But the point I'm making is, the point I'm making is, man, everything is being exposed, man. It's like, people ain't messing with people no more. Ain't talking to, no friends. There's no being friends with nobody no more. Like, it's kind of like everybody just starting to do their own thing now. Because, like I said, we living in a time where God is drawing the line in the sand. The great divide is happening. 
people who are awake are being separated like wheat in the shaft from people who are not. People who are fake are not being able to get away with their fakeness anymore in their manipulation and their reverse psychological tactics anymore. They are being exposed and it is what it is. People who are real and people who are authentic and genuine and loving are beginning to realize that they are around a bunch of Decepticons and that they are ending relationships and friendships and situationships and we are gravitating more towards our soul tribe. Are we or are we not? Comment below. You don't know me, but you know me though, right? For some strange reason, everything I say, it resonates and vibrates with your spirit, right? Because we are on, we are soul brothers and sisters. Maybe be twin flames, right? This is what's happening. God is exposing everything. The darkness will come to light. Y'all remember once upon a time when we used to grow up, we didn't never know what was going on in Hollywood because social media didn't exist. But now you got social media. It can show you these the lives of these celebrities and what's going on behind closed doors because everybody wanted to be in this. Celebrities always want to be in the spotlight or most of them. So they basically telling on themselves about everything that they do behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? And so... That's what Cat Williams doing. Like, Cat Williams ain't doing nothing bad. He just, he's a jokester. He's a comedian. But like I say, that's how you know somebody's offended. And that's how you know he's telling the truth. If somebody get offended off of jokes and controversial topics, if they get offended by something, some type of truth that you're saying, that's how you know it's true. I'm going to say that one more time. If you speak your truth, right, and it's because everybody got freedom of speech in this country, right? You can say what you want because it's freedom of speech. Like this, my YouTube channel, I am entitled to say whatever the hell I want to say. I started it and not, nobody was here when I started it. So can't nobody come along and tell me what to do now because I'm getting bigger. But that's what people do because like I say, like I say, man, when you start to, when you walking in your light and you believe in yourself, you'll have a lot of people that try to come and tell you to shut up. Don't say no more because they they touch by what you're saying first of all Because they some Decepticons Because they don't have to see when you speak your truth people don't have to agree with it But some people will agree with it But then they'll talk down on you because they agree with it because you hurting them because you exposing them and telling the truth And they don't and a lot of people don't want to be exposed But see none of these people that Cat Williams talking about he probably know them personally, but for some strange reason, they hurt by his commentary. That goes to show you that what he's saying, it has some type of leverage to it. Because if it wasn't, if it didn't make no sense, and if it was all just a myth and it was all just fiction, nobody would even respond. But that's how you know you're doing something. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, that's how you know you're doing something. That's how you know you're speaking. And that's how you know you breaking ground, bro. When you doing some stuff and everybody, you get everybody attention, bro. They own it. They like, why, why you say that? Why? That's how you know, bro. He, that's how you know he telling the truth. And these people that's coming back and giving responses, they ain't doing nothing but serving right into his purpose. He getting a bigger check every single day. He getting more money than he ever got doing this, talking about people. You know what I'm saying? So, bruh, everything is being exposed. That's why I say, man, if you ain't doing right by the most high God, bro, you better get your life together. I'm telling you. Because if you sinning on God or you doing wrong things to people, bro, it's manifestations are happening so fast nowadays that you can't get away with nothing, bro. <laughs> you can't because it's happening fast. I swear on, I swear on everything. It's been on my conscience lately, right? Listen, I'm going to tell you personally how fast things are catching up to me personally. Um, and ain't nothing catching up to me, really. But I'm just saying one little personal thing in my life that I did and it's been on my conscience lately is not paying my taxes. Now, some of y'all probably remember me saying I ain't paying my taxes. <laughs> like, for real, that's I know that's probably the, the only thing that, you know, that was on my conscience lately. God been telling me, Trent, you better do that, bro. They gonna charge you, boy. You about, and I just been putting it off like ah, I do it today. I do it. Listen, this morning when I got up, somebody called my phone. I didn't know who it was. They left a voice message. It was like, 
we can help you pay your taxes. We see you got a little tax debt right here, blah, blah, blah. This girl is like, whoop de whoop and you could do this, and you could do that. And I'm just and I'm just thinking to myself, like, dang, God, you helping me, ain't you? God, like, yes, call her and get this thing cleared away right now. And I'm just and I'm just telling you how the reason why I'm telling you this is because that's how fast. That's that's how fast. That's how fast what goes around comes around. Put it like that. So I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but like I said, man, we living in a time right now where God is exposing all the dirtiness of everything and everybody. I don't know what you do behind closed doors, but I hope it's good, bro. I don't know what you got going on here. I hope it's good because I'm telling you, you're gonna get held accountable for it. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to say you better make your you better get your stuff together. I'm telling you because God ain't playing right now, bro. And you see, the reason why he's doing this is because he gonna return. So it's kind of like giving a final warning. It's like, it's like, it's like you remember when. If you work, right, if you work at a job, right, you know how, like, they say the, the big boss going to come in on Thursday and what y'all got to do before he come in or she come in on Thursday. Y'all got to prepare the place. Y'all got to clean up everything. Y'all got to wipe down the tables. Y'all got to come in, dress nice. Y'all got to go by the book and everything because y'all know the big boss coming in. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing that's going on right now in our world right now. God is making his return really, really soon. What day? I don't know. I hope it's soon. But... He, he he cleaning it up before he come. He cleaning it up. He cleaning it up. He cleaning it up. He getting the Clorox. He bleaching it down. And anything germs going to be over there. All the clean stuff going to be over here. I don't know what side you on, but I'm over here. Huh? Somebody come in and say, say, bro, I'm over here too. And that's what he doing, bro. He just... Drawing a line, he just letting people know, and that's why you see so many people going crazy, bro. That's why you see so many people out there like Cat Williams offended. Ah, uh, Cat Williams basically giving them a warning, like, yeah, I know what's going on, but I ain't gonna say too much about it. But I'm just letting y'all know I'm with God. I guess that's what he was saying or implying. You know, I'm riding with the Most High. I'm, you know, I'm a truth teller. I guess that's what Cat Williams was basically saying, and they got they got offended by it. But anyway, speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this Cat Williams situation, man. Um, it's your big bro, Trent. Listen, y'all. The books that I've been telling y'all to buy, the books of wisdom that I'm reading, that the other thousands of people that bought it reading. Listen, today we just got the physical copies in, okay? Meaning like the real book, the, the real book, okay? Not PDF. So if you want that real book, look in the uh, comment section at the top. You can get the real book. We're gonna send it to you in the mail. Okay? Mine are already coming in the mail. I had to mine, I get my stuff just like y'all. Okay. But anyway, make sure you get you a, one of the books of wisdoms uh today at the very top of the comments, man. We that's what we read now. Also, we're reading that book called The Frequency I told y'all about. We're reading that book too. Okay. Again, folks, this is therapeutic stuff. It's gonna help you become a better person. Um, I know the frequency book helping me be more peaceful and stuff like that you know what i'm saying when it comes down to my emotions and my feelings i'm beginning to be a little bit more you know whatever you want to call it but these books are helping us so make sure you get one of these books today man and get this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe man it's your big brother trend i'll see you tomorrow man have a blessed night man keep god number one jesus first in your life adios